Hey, if you were on that earlier broadcast, sorry about that. He, uh, the cop told me uh, that I couldn't broadcast, so I had to, I guess just for inside those buildings, for whatever weird reason. But anyway, I was telling somebody, one of them is called the uh, something Henry Spack building. The other one is the Altiro Spinelli building. I have no idea who those people are. Now we're just gonna take a little stroll. This was the EU over here, guys. There's this, uh, there's a big walkway right through there, through the middle of it. I can take you through on my way back. It's kind of cool. I think I've taken you guys through that before. I like this. This is really kind of cool. Right outside the EU, they've got these little, looks like they're just pressure washed in. These little uh, statements from Greenpeace. I don't exactly know why they chose to do it right here, but, you know, there you go. Yeah, we got some nice buildings over here. I think there's uh, some apartment buildings just outside the EU here, which is probably crazy expensive. And there's the, uh, we got the Museum of Natural Science coming up too, which I will show you guys. Uh, I've never been in there. Uh, but I do like the outside a lot because they've got these, uh, I'll just show it to you, I don't want to spoil anything. It's pretty cool though. So yeah, here's the area. It's a nice quiet neighborhood as one would expect right next to the EU. I don't know, uh... Let me see if I can find one for you. I don't know what it is. There's all these uh, the little mail slips. They all say, no advertisements. Does that work? We should, we should adopt that in the U.S., I think. Let me see if I can find one for you. Either way, people seem to do it. I don't know. So maybe it doesn't work so well. Hey, guys. Thanks for the hearts. I appreciate it. Uh, you can see some apartments here. Hi, hi. We're getting into some hillier areas right up here. This is the end of that EU walkway I was telling you about before. Oh, not too much. Just heading to the grocery store. How about you? I think this is really pretty over here. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty easily amused. <laughs> so take that into consideration, but I love hills. I'm from Florida. What is what? This is a walk in Brussels. I'm gonna turn left here. I hear, I do walk everywhere. It's cheaper than taking the bus, that's for sure. And uh, we don't have a car, so. So I hear that this is one of the best fisheries in uh, fish uh, places to eat fish in Brussels. It's been open for over 20 years. People seem to love it. So that right there, it's on Wavre. Who the Wavre? I'll we'll have to give that a shot sometime. We're getting near the. Uh, Visiting? Nope, I moved. I moved to Brussels uh, about a week and a half ago, almost, and loving every minute of it, that's for sure. The nice thing is my, uh, yeah, my uh, my wife has the job, I'm still looking, so until I, uh, until I find something, I get to just enjoy myself. So here's the Museum of Natural Sciences, and like I said, I've never been in it. I've had some people who live here tell me it's no good, but I think that these things are amazing on the sides. Look at this. So cool. Someone put in an incredible amount of detail on these. Like, it's not just a sticker. Let me get you a little closer so you can, you can get a look. Look, that's painted. That is painted on it, and then someone had a graffiti right over it. Tristan's impressed. He's looking around. Say hi! <laughs> He's pretty good about smiling at the camera. They also, uh, yeah, aren't those cool? 
they have these really cool uh, thing. These, um, you know, they have Coast Bike Share in Tampa for those of you in Tampa. He is cute. Agreed. <laughs> um, so they have Coast Bike Share. So they have something very similar in Brussels. It's called a Villo, um, which is funny because the French word for bike is velo, so you know it's the villa. <laughs> but uh, I, I think they're kind of cool because you can, uh, if you get a bus membership, uh, like you can pay for a bus for a whole year, and it's it's pretty cheap actually, from what I hear. But you have to have your visa first. Anyway, you get that, and then um, the bikes come with it. So that'll be kind of nice. We got some street art. We got some cool graffiti artists here in Brussels, I've noticed. These aren't my favorite. My favorite is uh, crayon. It sounds like crayon, and you'd be correct in thinking that. Oh, so we're coming up on a store where uh, there are these little shopping carts that Europeans seem to carry around, but apparently mostly old ladies. I want to get one. My wife thinks I'm insane. Those right there. Tell me, tell me that's not a good idea if you're walking around the city to get one of those. I don't care if I look like an old lady. Who cares? It's all good, man. So I'm going to show you real quick this, uh, this famous fry stand in the middle of Brussels. It's called Madame Antoine's. Um, I'm almost to it, so just stand by. I do need to get one. That's what I think. My wife thinks I'm nuts. My wife's aunt, who lives here too. <laughs> I'll take some, some fashion photos when I get one. <laughs> My wife's aunt says she'll just give us one. At least to let us borrow for a little while. Because she thinks that I need one. Because probably because she thinks it'd be hilarious to see me with one. Because only old ladies carry those around, so. So if I didn't say it before, Belgians are really passionate about their fries. You know, fries are just kind of like what you get at McDonald's in the U.S., but in Belgium, it's a whole, it's a whole thing. So I just got to cross the street real quick, and then we're going to be at, it's kind of like a twisty treat. Even I got one when I was vacationing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, the nice thing about having a stroller is I can just take the bags, and I can just hook them on the ends of the stroller, but if I didn't have a stroller, I wouldn't care. Not even a little bit. So anyway, um, my um, my uh, wife's aunt, uh, uncle, no, cousin. Now I'm talking about a cousin. He uh, he found out that we went over here to Madame Antoine's and that we only got fries with mayo. Mayo is kind of the thing. And he was like, "You can't just get them with mayo. You've got to get them with some other sauce, some like something tartar." But it's not tartar sauce like you think of in America. Like, it's not that. So, anyway, we're gonna take a look at them real quick. Just so you get an idea of what we're talking about. It comes in a little cone. It, the, uh, the store looks like a, uh, looks like a twisty treat, it's just kind of in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of a little square. This is, uh, Place Jardin that we're coming up on, J-O-U-R-D-A-N. And um, yeah, take a look at some fries in a second. I'm coming at it kind of a weird angle, so. There it is, it's uh, in the distance there. Fries with sour cream. I don't know if they uh, sell, well, the tartar sauce might be that, I don't know, but. I, I can't say I've tried that. Fries with mayo in Belgium are good. I don't, I can't abide Cool Whip necessarily, but. Uh, oh, I think it's called Maison de Madame Antoine. Or Maison Antoine, I don't know. I've only been here once or twice. Okini Day. Hey, you too. I'll see you later. We're almost there. Just want you to get an idea of what this is.
It's Maison Antoine. So that's clear. Hey guys. See if we can get a good shot. See these guys over here with their cones? You kind of get these other things with it. But, uh, mostly it's just fries. It's good stuff, man. People will stand in huge lines. <laughs> I'm good. How you doing? This is the one. Not, uh, Maison Antoine. Not Madame Antoine. They serve their fries in little cones. You can just get a sauce on the side or they'll put the sauce on the top. It's in this cute little square here. So there you go guys. I'll keep this one um, on this one now so it, uh, I don't want it to get too long. A little bit uh, too long to watch. So uh, thanks so much for watching guys and uh, I'll be on in a little bit. Thanks.